Or you know what's funny is I didn't really have to get on them. They got on themselves. They knew they weren't playing up to the level that they that they had set for themselves. So I came in. By the time I got there, they were already addressing the issues that I was going to talk about. So I just cleaned up a couple of things, and they went out in that third quarter and played the way that they know they were capable of playing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know what I'm feeling good about is that we're developing good habits. That's more important to me. If you play the right way, every possession, good things are happening. And, and we look, all of us want to win, but if we lose playing the right way and we're building good habits, we can handle that. But, you know, we're building good habits and we're winning, so it makes it a lot of fun. Brown didn't play the first half. Yeah, you know what happened was I wanted to take a look at some of the other guys. I mean, I know what, like, we know what Greg can do. He's just like, he's a bundle of energy right off the bat. So what, what Coach Phillips has told the guys from the beginning of camp, he wants everyone to get a chance to play because if, all the guys that have been in camp have played so hard, practiced so hard. So the one thing I hate about summer league is when you come here and there are certain guys that don't play and then they practice so hard and they leave here with a bad taste in their mouth for our organization. I want them to leave here with a good taste in their mouth for the Portland Trailblazers organization. I want them to know that our management told, told their agent something and the coaching staff followed through with it. So that's what I was trying to do in the first half is make sure that all the guys got a chance. You know, and it might not be the minutes that they wanted to wanted to play, but at least they got, got an opportunity to play. And I'll continue to do that through the rest of the week. No, 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 these, 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 these games are so important for Greg, you know, and you can, <laughs> and, and you can see, you know, Greg, Greg's growing by the moment, you know, and we, he just needs to keep playing like he's, like he's doing. And I like the fact that he's given a chance to make these mistakes and I get a chance to correct him right on the, right on the spot. And the same thing with CJ, like these are huge minutes for CJ. And when he makes a mistake, I correct him right on the, on the spot and we go forward. I'm supposed to talk about Johnson tomorrow. I'm about him. I'm going to ask you, okay. what about him do you think is going to make him a good head coach to be a uh, It's just his approach and his feel to the game. You know, I've known Chauncey for, you know, we were rookies. You know, Chauncey was a rookie when we played together in Boston. And he's always had a, a, a common presence about him and a confident presence about him. And I think in today's game, like, players respect that. You know, we had that in L.A. with, with T. Lou. Like, regardless of the situation, if you were looking at T. Lou, you couldn't tell if the Clippers were up 30 or down 30. You know, he had the same body language. And he was never erratic. And I think our players really appreciated that. And that's what I see. That's what I see in Chauncey. He's always in control of the situation. And, you know, you go back to when Chauncey played, he played at one speed, right? And it was always the under control speed, and he coaches the same way. So that, I think, is going to enable him to have a long tenure as a head coach. One of the things they said after the franchise part away is that, they need more accountability, especially on defense. Is that something, something you think something can get out of this Blazer group? Yeah. That's a buy on that. Yeah, and I, I think I think what happens is sometimes, you know, people tend to use that word accountability, and I understand it, but I think where it starts is with the players. And we have players that are willing defenders. Now we just have to get them into a system and hold them accountable. Uh, Dame's a willing defender. CJ's a willing defender. No one wants to be a bad defender. You know, I look back at my time when I was with the Rockets, and uh, I, we came, I came in with Mike and Tony, and we went from being, you know, a poor defensive team to a really good defensive team. It can happen. It just takes a buy-in from the players and accountability by the coaches. Coach, we got a question from AJ McCord with Coin6 News on Zoom. Hey, Coach. Welcome to Portland. Uh, looking forward to meeting you when you get back into town. So you talk a lot about the coaching style and how you guys are um, sort of meshing together. I guess that, that's my main question is how much of Summer League is also learning for you and Chauncey, how to work together and the staff to make sure that everyone finds their own role of how to hold players to, accountable in this way or who's going to step in in this moment? How do you feel like your chemistry as a staff is developing? Well, I think it's been incredible thus far. And we're fortunate that we've had, we have so much of our staff already completed 
that were able to do these summer league practices together and having Coach Scotty Brooks with his head coaching experience and Steve Hessel and then along with myself, it, it's, it's, it's given us a tremendous advantage to be able to put practice plans together, implement them, run a practice, do all of that together, have coaches meet and break down fans. All those things, all those things are small, but they add up to these big things when the season gets here. And I think it's given us a head start in, in getting our continuity as a staff. Thank you. Okay. So much uh, energy and effort in summer league because of the opportunity of what's at stake. I thought when the game slowed down tonight, the composure and the execution was just there. Yeah. The whole biz. What's the key from a coaching standpoint to getting that that execution when the game slowed down in the summer league setting? Well, it starts in practice, and Coach Billups has done a tremendous job in practice of preaching execution. Our office is simple but he demands execution. And our players have just bought in and they know where we're running. They know what spots to get to. They know what shots we're looking for. They know how we're going to play and we don't accept anything less. So when you're in that pressure situation, what some would call a pressure, pressure situation, they're comfortable because we've executed, you know, these plays over and over, you know, in this last week of uh, summer league practice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.